Hi Pisces, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well, but let me know in the comments section if all is well, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like me to keep you in my prayers, just leave me a white heart emoji, all right? So Pisces, this is a general reading which comes to you from the classic design tarot and the stressless oracle cards which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. The Most High Angel Spirit, guys, means the love and light the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Pisces? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you, God Most High. Okay, Pisces, you have the Nine of Swords, which reflects that you've been allowing your current situation to really stress you out, keeping you up at night. You're not getting proper rest, which is not healthy. So I feel like things are not as bad as you think they are. So with that being said, you're being encouraged to get out of that fear state of mind and focus on the positivity that is all around you. And trust that things are working out for your well-being. Even if it feels or seems like it's like super difficult right now, look beyond the difficulty and reassess the situation. And look for the good in the situation it will help you to see that there is positivity that's all around you and that the outcome of the situation will be for the well-being of yourself and others. So... It's time to get out of your head. Now, if you have been suffering from headaches or back pain, I feel like you're being encouraged to seek out medical assistance, especially if these conditions are keeping you up. If it's migraine headaches or what are those other headaches called? I can't think of it right now. There's another terminology for cluster headaches. Thank you, God most high. If you're having cluster headaches or migraines, back pain, sciatica pain, a dislocation pain, swelling of the cartilage or worn out cartilage in your spine. If those conditions or any other condition that's keeping you up at night is something that you can relate to, seek out medical assistance. If you have a medical physician and you find that you're not getting anywhere, seek out a second opinion, okay? And consider talking to some people who may know someone that has gone through what you've experienced but they have a really good physician always make sure that the physician is within your network so that you don't find yourself in a financial bind because you went out of network always remember that okay all right but take good care of yourself and get the medical treatment that you need and if you're overthinking the situation, stop stressing behind it. Get out of that fear state of mind that you put yourself in and trust that everything is working out for everyone who's involved in your situation. You have the Five of Cups, which represent disappointment in a relationship could be someone you work with go to school with in your family life in a romantic relationship etc etc but you're being encouraged not to cry over spilled milk is what i'm hearing in other words allow yourself to feel and experience the emotion, emotions that are rising up for you but consider all that you have done to try to get things to work in this connection but it hasn't been successful and look at how you can move forward from this situation where you're not beating yourself up and not 
blaming anyone, but honestly accepting things as they are and deciding what course of action you need to take at this point to move forward. Because there's two cups still standing behind this individual, but they're so focused on what has happened to cause the other three cups to spill over that they can't even see that they still have a reserve, that they still are surrounded by blessings, that there are still people who love them and care about them, that they still have good, healthy relationships aside from the one that is currently causing this feeling of sadness and grief and disappointment. So look around you and count your blessings. You still have people in your corner. You can't control anyone but yourself. So if the situation warrant that you walk away, then look at the bright side of things that you are only walking away from what no longer serves your well-being and embracing new opportunities to meet new individuals that are like-minded, that are in alignment with what you desire as well. Okay? So, be grateful for all that you still have, regardless of what's happening. Allow yourself to experience the feelings, the emotions, but don't stay in that position. Don't stay stuck, right? Like they're not moving. They're not taking any action to reposition themselves. Five is the number of change and transformation. It's time to make a change doing the same thing over and over, getting the same results is not most beneficial. So it's time to make a change. It's for your well-being. All right, Pisces. And you know what? I'm really sorry that you're having this experience, but it is a part of your journey and it's a part of your process and you're going to be able to overcome this and move forward. This too shall pass is what I'm hearing for you. This too shall pass. Embrace the change. Embrace the change. Don't focus so much on the disappointment, the regret, etc., etc. Don't become bitter, okay, and angry. Use your energy to build yourself up to move forward. All right. As it relates to... Your stressless oracle card that's for your well being in the highest form of love and light. Okay, card just jumped right out of the deck. Thank you, God Most High. I'll take it. You have space travel. So you're being encouraged to engage in this exercise, which is as follows Close your eyes. Imagine that you can space travel just like that, rising up from where you are and seeing the whole place from above. Actually, you can go so high that you can see the limits of the city, the country, the earth. So everything gets smaller as you go higher. When you feel good, stop right there. Look at the place where you just were. How does everything look from up there? How do you feel? How do you feel now from this distance? Stay in your space position for 5 to 10 minutes and then come down by taking a deep breath. That'll help you to come down. From a distance, things and situations start to look smaller. The negative reaction lessens. So ultimately, this exercise is to help you ground and center yourself. All right. So Pisces, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. I appreciate you. 
If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button. It is free to join me here. Like, comment, share, turn on your notification. And if you are a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. If you don't want to comment, just leave me a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that this message did resonate with you and touch your heart in some way. Don't forget to check out the community tab. And that's it. <laughs> All right. Because there's something for you on the community tab. So enjoy the message there. Take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now, Pisces.